everybody, I'm Steph Hodge with Board Game Geek here with Jill from Rebo Games, and we get to look at Keratos. How are you doing, Jill? Hi, fine. Thank you, Steph. Thank you. Very good. <laughs> Excellent. So tell me a little bit about Keratos today. Okay, Keratos is a game about Portuguese monsters, because in Portugal we also have most monsters. Okay, and uh, we worked with a Portuguese author called Paulo Pereira, and he uh, showed us this game, and we we thought it was very f a fun game because you are you assume the character of two monsters in the game, okay? So that's why each player, I think, hi Lincoln, please show one of the one of the love your hand, <laughs> show please one of the card monsters or monster cards or, of the of the game, yeah, just. Just one, one, one of the cards, and this the uh, each player will control two monsters in the in the in the board. Okay, the objective of the game is to scare the monsters and to ca uh, to scare villagers and to to capture them. Okay, so how do you do that? By basically, yeah, this is the card, the monster, the monster card. Okay, so you. Each player will have three knight cards. Okay, the knight cards are the cards that are there with the blue face, blue, uh, with a tree there. Uh, in, and uh, the those cards, each player will have three of that cards and will choose one card. Okay, uh, I think Lincoln can show the the three cards. Oh no, first the the, the monster card. Okay, oh, he's and cute. as you. See, as you can see in the monster card, they have three symbols. One, the comet, red, the thunderstorm, yellow, and the moon, green, okay? And uh, the cards, the three cards, exactly those three, players will have those cards and they randomly will appear. So you can have three same cards or whatever. And they, the, uh, the, the player will choose one card, just one card. Okay, for example, if the player choose the yellow card with the, uh, with the thunderstorm, that one, okay, now he have to choose which, which player, which monster he will use in the, during the game, or during this action, or this, during his turn, okay? And in the monster card, it shows there with the yellow, the yellow icon, what, what will be the action. For example, in this case, the werewolf, we can move up to six movements, make up to six movements, and in this this case here, it shows a, the, a village. So the 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 werewolf can jump between village like it was a portal, okay, between the the the, the several villages that exist in the board, okay. So there are other monsters. For example, they have a lot of of locations. Uh, uh, oh, this one, for example, Maria Ganesha. It's a very scary monster. Uh, she can jump, uh, jump in the in the in the well, uh, uh, okay, between wells. But uh, uh, it is, she is very powerful because she can move a lot, okay. So after you choose to to move the monster or to do the action with the monsters, you do that, and normally you move the monster. Uh, to a group of villagers, and if you arrive, uh, for example, if you can can move, for example, a monster. I ask Lincoln to move a monster, okay. And if you arrive to a group, uh, in a group of of, of villagers with the campfire token, okay, exactly there. There you scare the villagers, and the villagers will will scatter and flee away. Each of them will flee one movement. In, in in the direction uh, clockwise direction okay each of them will go in that that direction so they will disappear from from your place and you will have just what we will win with that with you will win a campfire token okay that it will be very helpful during the game because you can you can buy buy uh, an new cards and you can do extra movements etc but you don't capture any any villagers. 
you only can capture villagers when you find one village alone. Okay, so uh, uh, this will be uh, uh, very important in terms of strategy because you have to work with your other monster. He will be waiting in another location to receive the poor lonely villager and capture him. Okay, this is a very simple game in terms of mechanic. Although you have a lot of options because each monster is unique. As you can see in all, all, all monsters cards are unique. For example, this one, the boogeyman, uh, uh, <laughs> you can, you can jump between, uh, between several locations, for example, and uh, always normally they have, for example, this one make up to three moves with a group of villager. This group of villagers behaves exactly as thought as the Caretos. Oh, this is important because Caretos, the name of the game, are two monsters that don't belong to anybody. They can oh. be moved and, uh, and uh, can be uh, used by any player. As you can see in the, exactly that one, uh, the, can you, Lincoln, can you show me the, the, car, the monster card that you just, the boogeyman? Okay. If, if you can see in the, the, the lower, in the, the lower part of the card, in the moon, if you choose that, if you choose it, you can move the, your boogeyman up to four, and then it's mandatory that you move one Kratos. You choose which one. Mm. There are two in the board. You choose which one, and you can use the Kratos. Uh, in in your way, you can, for example, you can scare villagers, and they, and they flee away. For example, in your direction, in the direction of the of the of your monster, because if a Kratos capture a villager, it will go to the box. It it will not belong to any player. You will not give any points to any player. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, also, you can use a Kratos to to capture uh, the another monster. From another player, and uh, that monster will go to the calderon, to the card. It's that card is in the top part of the board. Okay, mm. that one exactly. That one. If <laughs> you use a Kratos and the Kratos capture another monster, he'll go there alone. Okay, so the other player will will only have one monster to 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 use. Okay, and then you can go away, you can uh, uh, let the, the Calderon if you, another monster arrives there. Okay, mm. another thing that I think is very interesting in terms of mechanics of the game is that, as you can see in the night cards, uh, Lincoln, can, can you show some, some night cards? Uh, uh, yeah. The, in the top, in the top right, uh, no, not that ones. The, the, those ones are are, are um, the the night cards are the, the the three cards in the beginning of the game that you that you have. Uh, uh, yeah, exactly. In the top, in the top right of the part of the card, you have a, a symbol. Okay. If when you play, when you choose a card, if the symbol is the same of the late card that you just play it. Okay, you can move your two monsters. So, so this is a, a very important mechanic because it allows you, instead of moving one, to have two monsters and do things with those two monsters. So it's a very important thing. After that, okay. those cards are face down. Sorry? Um, so we are just out of time. I just want to make sure you can tell us where we can get these games and... Um... I just okay. want to those make sure game, you have an opportunity those game, to talk. Those, ga those, ga those games are in, uh, at this moment in, in, in selling uh, free in United States fun again games or in Europe via our shop or Idle Bear shop or uh, Philly Bear shop. But hopefully in the near future, we'll sell some license to, to some publishers in Uni or United States or in Europe. So it will be available in their language. But by now we are selling the multi-version language, which you have Portuguese, Spanish, English, and German. That's the, the, that's the game we are selling now. Okay. And so if you're if you guys are in the lookout for twenty four ninety one and Planet Ship and Karatos, thank you so much, Jill, for showing us both these games and coming on with Nevo Games and. Uh, 
you know, go look for those on the Spiel website and you can find them, uh, Amiibo Games. I know you guys are active on Instagram and all probably all the social medias as well. Yeah. So uh, everybody's very kind yeah. over at Amiibo Games. So I really appreciate your time today. I appreciate this time. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.